Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars and Ural of New England. Today I have an exciting new Ural to share with you, and that is the 2023 Gear Up in Slate Gray. In this video, we're going to learn just what a Ural motorcycle is, we'll cover its features, specifications, and talk about some of the many cool accessories we offer for these as well. We will also cover some of the improvements Ural made um, for the 2023 models, um, as they are definitely worth mentioning. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Alpha Cars. We share daily motoring content, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on cool things like this Ural motorcycle. But now, let's take a closer look. I'll start out by saying, if you are interested in this Ural, uh, you are just one click away from viewing its availability and the pricing. Uh, just check out the listing on our website. It'll pop up in the top right of your screen right now or head on down into the description and it'll be there as well. But now I'll start out by covering just what is this machine. Well, it's a uh, sidecar motorcycle and it's designed to have a sidecar and it comes with a sidecar from the factory. Uh, it's actually unsafe to remove the sidecar and try to just ride it as a motorcycle um, due to the front suspension design and the frame geometry um, it handles awesome with the sidecar tracks uh, really straight and true they're a blast to ride um, and anyone who has ridden one of these for the first time and will really they'll tell you they'll tell you just that it's powered by a horizontally opposed twin with a true two into one exhaust system and these have four forward gears and one reverse gear. Um, that's right, it does have a mechanical reverse gear. And I will show you the controls to all this um, in a few minutes here later in the video. And they also have a two-wheel drive, on-demand two-wheel drive. And as we see with the factory knobby tires, they do handle really nice on the road. Um, of course, it having three wheels, you're not really leaning on the sidewalls like on a two-wheeled motorcycle. Um, so it does handle great and ride smooth on the road, but then you get off the road and it really comes into its own, whether um, you're in maybe some more gnarly trails or just exploring dirt roads or fire roads, uh, it really will do it all. Getting back to the power plant there, uh, it is powder coated. We can see it's black, so it's gonna be protected um, from corrosion and it just looks really nice um, having that black finish there going along with the rest of the bike. We do have a backup uh, Kickstarter here as these do have an electric start on um, that works very well as, uh, as well as the modern fuel injection system as we can see those throttle bodies there with a fuel injector in each of them. So the fueling uh, is very nice on these bikes so you know whether you've got a different uh, temperature you're dealing with or different elevation um, you know unlike a carbureted bike where it may be a little finicky sometimes um, or you gotta uh, kind of play with the chokes a little bit to get it started um, no matter like I said the circumstances all you do is hit that starter button and these start and run sweet every time I will note as well uh, it is a dry clutch so it's a twin plate dry clutch a lot of clamping force with a light lever pull um, you may be more familiar with a, a twin plate clutch being in like a performance vehicle application. So you get all the clamping force uh, to handle the torque um, of, you know, whatever uh, big engine you've got or work you've got done to the engine um, while still retaining a light clutch pedal. So kind of same thing here. These uh, horizontally opposed two cylinders make a lot of torque and most of it down low. Uh, so I can ride these bikes only with two fingers on the levers. Um, and not get tired out. It is a surprisingly light clutch pull, clutch pull, sorry, um, for how grabby and effective the clutch is. I did take the tonneau cover off. Um, if you remember back in the intro of this video, um, there was a black cover over the sidecar. Um, if you're interested in seeing how to remove that and how to install it, it is very easy, it takes only a couple seconds, and I have another video uh, showing you how to do that as well as some ticks tips and tricks um, sorry as uh, showing you some even other things you can you can use it for so that'll pop up in the video right now for you 
in the top right corner um, if you want to check that out. But first, uh, let me just start by showing you some uh, really general features and quality touches. Um, and then in just a moment here, we will take a deep look, uh, an in-depth look at that sidecar. Uh, but a very notable thing are the brakes, big Brembo brakes all around on this machine. We've got a massive four piston caliper on the front with a floating rotor that is drilled. And all around, this has drilled rotors um, with the floating design. So they're really, they're gonna shed um, as much heat as possible or dissipate as much heat as possible um, and retain smooth braking, you know, even under kind of like heavy braking conditions that produce a lot of heat. We've got a single piston caliper on the back there and also a single piston caliper on the sidecar. That's right, the sidecar has its own brake. And I will show you that um, when I show you the controls of the bike. Now let me start um, on the sidecar here. We've got the uh, dual LED driving lights. And something we do here at Alpha Cars is we run this harness through the front bumper. So it is drilled behind here. Um, we do it so cleanly you really can't even see. Uh, so it is drilled and then it runs through the bumper and that harness comes out right here. So from the factory, this is actually uh, run on the outside of this bumper and zip tied to it. So we just like to go a step further um, with our kind of uh, you know attention to detail and preference by running that through the bumper um, yields a very clean appearance. I'm a big fan of it, especially if you're off-road or just over time, it'll really protect that harness and save it from being out in the elements or getting maybe caught on something out on a trail. Just taking a second to admire that color. I absolutely love this color on the Ural, especially um, with the few little chrome accents it has, like the spokes, um, but mainly all the kind of black accents that go so well with this gray. I, I really, really like it. We've got a nice uh, contoured seat, very comfortable. Sidecar is a very fun and comfortable place to be. Uh, we've had people, even over six feet, hop right in and really have a blast and, and really comment on how comfortable they are. We've got a European style uh, outlet in the sidecar on our online store uh, where we sell you know, hundreds of accessories for these. We do have an adapter to adapt that to the American style. So then you can use you know, whatever accessories you may need. We have a switch available. Uh, that's not wired to anything. Um, they just come with an extra switch so you can add a circuit for whatever accessory you may want right off the bat. It is a very high quality and it's a waterproof switch as well. Just looking at the floor of the sidecar, nice rubber mat uh, with the kind of Ural logo on it. I mentioned the rubber mats because I think it's a nice touch, protects the floor of the Ural. And just like getting in your car, it just feels more premium having that protection there and having that mat. And I'm gonna talk about the underbody protection. We can see this textured coating. Uh, so this Ural has this coating applied on the underbody of the sidecar, inside the sidecar tub, so we can see the textured coating there. And it's throughout the inside as well. It's in the trunk, which I will show you that in a second here. It's also on all three fenders, um, under, on the underside of all three fenders, if the fo camera focuses there. So what this chip guard does is it allows some flex in the paint. So usually what would happen if you didn't have this, um, any little things kick up, the paint's gonna chip um, you know, pretty easily. Even like your automobile, you may go look at the front of it and find paint chips um, from highway driving, um, you know, things kicking up on the road. With this, with this coating, this does its best to, pre to prevent that because if something hits this, um, it allows the paint to flex instead of just chipping off and not having any flex to it. So it's a very proven coating. We see great results to the, um, with these. And we even apply this coating um, to Urals that didn't come with it when you know customers, they, they bring their Urals to us having had um, maybe like a little bit of rust starting in places or just them wanting to protect the Ural. And we see great, great results uh, from this coating. And really the best way to do it is get it from the factory because it's applied from the factory on, you know, on a perfect surface and then it has the paint applied over it. So very, very nice job there 
very clean job as well. Uh, the trunk is right under our spare wheel, which I'll talk about for a sec. Nice heavy duty rack on it. You can see it shakes the whole bike when I shake it. Uh, you could put plenty of stuff on this and tie it down and have it be very safe and secure. The sidecar spare wheel, uh, we can see the hub. The hub is a center part here. That's designed to go on all three places um, of the Ural. So whether you have a flat on the drive wheel or the main drive wheel, or even on the front of the bike, uh, this will go um, on any three places. So just very good thinking there and engineering with Ural. So really, no matter where you are, you'll never be you know, stuck having a flat that you can't repair. You can always get home by just putting this spare tire on there. And now lifting it up, very heavy duty latch. I already had it open so I could just lift it quickly for the video, but very heavy duty latch system and it is lockable so you can lock whatever goodies you have in there. And I'll mention uh, it does come with an expandable shovel and it also has a nice little cover on it as well to protect it. So that's a nice quality touch. You can see the inside of the trunk lid. Once again, the paint is consistent everywhere. You won't find any spots that are maybe like thin or kind of skipped. Um, you know, heavy duty gasket on here uh, with the nice paint and we've got all stainless steel hardware. And now looking in the trunk, we have uh, the Ural toolkit. Very vast selection of tools in there. You can really do almost any service on the bike with that toolkit and the owner's manual. Um, this is really also like a shop manual. It has exploded uh, parts diagrams, wiring diagrams. Um, I wish, uh, you know, auto automobile uh, owner's manuals came with all of that and you didn't need a separate repair manual, but I'm sure there'd be a particularly um, big owner's manual for a car if, if they did that. But uh, I, I really like that. So, you know, you get, you get your new Ural um, with just what comes with it and you're really already set up to maintain it on your own and, and do any servicing you need to do without having to buy, you know, maybe specialty tools or purchase an additional, um, you know, shop manual. Uh, touch up paint as well, that comes with it. Another quality touch. And of course we can see uh, textured uh, chip coating or chip guard inside the trunk as well. And that rubber mat under those items. Making way over, we have the uh, fuel jerry can. It has a sticker on it. It says not for gasoline and drinking water. <laughs> we always find that kind of funny. Um, obviously just use common sense there. Don't use it for fuel one week and fill it with drinking water the next week. Um, I really recommend just using this for gas, um, but we always find a little bit of humor um, in that sticker. And now let me show you underneath the sidecar. Um, it does have its own suspension. Uh, we have these rubber dampeners on the sidecar tub um, at the rear of it. They actually, uh, it's a rubber dampener with a spring inside. And then there is a coilover shock um, on the sidecar frame. So these are very, very comfortable to ride in, uh, really kind of more than you'd think, especially if you're on maybe a fire road, a dirt road, very, very comfortable place to be. Um, ride quality and comfort is great. As you can see there, it's, you really, you've got some nice suspension riding on some nice <laughs> suspension. Um, so that's just another a quality kind of engineering touch in my opinion. And now let me talk about the 2023 improvements. We've got some improvements uh, to the design and manufacturing of the engine crankcase and the roller tappets. So uh, really some crucial components on the engine. Um, that's really where you want some increased, uh, you know, serviceability and increased longevity. Nothing you can, uh, nothing you can notice just looking at the engine, but uh, Ural has a very nice detailed uh, long list of of you know, certain items um, on their website if you wanna check that out, if you're interested. And one we can see, which we've already uh, seen it a few times, is the uh, CV, CV shaft here for two-wheel drive. So constant velocity shaft. So these used to be, uh, used to have U-joints. So these CV joints, um, they yield a smoother rotation at all angles. Even just riding this on the road, it's gonna be a slightly smoother ride. You can, um, you can kinda, kinda notice um, it definitely um, aids to the, the smoothness of the ride. 
and of course inc increased reliability and service intervals. So I mean really as far as service and maintenance goes on a CV shaft, uh, you really just want to make sure the boots stay in good condition. And if they leak any grease, you just want to address that immediately um, as they're internally lubricated with grease. So really as long as the boots stay in good condition, there's really almost nothing to, <laughs> to maintain or do um, on them. They're just going to yield a nice, uh, a nice long life. Just like they do on your automobile, you know, CV shafts, um, these are used in, uh, these are very mainstream in most automobiles, whether you have, you know, a Toyota or a Volkswagen or even a Mercedes or a Porsche. <laughs> um, so uh, nice to see a really modern touch there on the Ural. So let me show you the foot controls. On the left here, we have a heel toe shifter um, for our four forward gears. And then between the Ural and the sidecar, uh, this heel toe shifter is sort of reverse. So you're either gonna be in first gear um, or in neutral with the clutch pulled. And then you kick down right here and that pops you right in reverse. And then you're free to go really for as long as you'd like as it's a mechanical reverse gear. And then the brakes, uh, these are actuated uh, both rear wheels at the same time. So we can see the sidecar has its own fluid reservoir and master cylinder, um, which is under there, under this uh, nice, really thick and sturdy shield, I may mention. And then a really cool um, kind of linkage that's adjustable so you can make sure to dial in um, them braking evenly. So then, you know, you'll always have um, the safest and the best performance on the road and off the road um, when you really have to lean on those brakes. And this little lever right here, uh, that you actuate for two-wheel drive, which going back down here, uh, this is the final drive unit. It actuates this little lever, um, which pops you into two-wheel drive. And then if you're in a sticky situation, um, you can get out of it there. Um, or just have fun on some dirt or especially in some snow. Um, these Urals are a blast in those types of conditions. Let's take a quick look at the exhaust. Uh, I particularly like the exhaust on these. It's a true two-in-one system, very high quality. Uh, if I get the camera to focus, just look at the welds on the muffler. We can see very high quality heat shield, all stainless steel components. Uh, thick, very thick exhaust hammer, hanger, very sturdy with thick rubber grommets there. Really all the bends and welds are really exquisite on this exhaust. It looks very, very nice. I just like to see that quality there, especially coming right, you know, coming right from the factory. It's just very, very impressive to see. So now uh, let me show you the controls of the Ural, uh, the handlebar controls here. We'll do a cold start. Um, before we get to that, quickly I'll show you, we have the gas tank storage. I really like this little storage cubby here. It is lockable, um, so I've got the key in hand, being very careful not to uh, touch the paint with any of the other keys. You can see there, very co cool little place to keep stuff. Nice rubber gasket, um, really pretty much all the way around. And with this edge that kind of goes over it, um, you know, it's not technically waterproof, but I would say it's more watertight um, it's really going to prevent most of anything from getting in there. And if I put my phone in here, we can see it fits that perfectly with maybe a half inch to spare. And I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, S22 Ultra. Um, if you want to look up like how big the phone is, and I do have a, a thin case on it. But um, I say that because I like how Ural made this so it can fit, um, you know, a modern, cellular, uh, a modern telephone, which are pretty big now. Um, so that, to me, that would have been kind of frustrating if, if there was that storage cubby there um, and you couldn't, you know, fit a modern phone in it or something. But I just want to mention that because that's kind of a real life thing that I'd personally want to know, especially if I'm, uh, you know, considering um, buying, buying a Ural. So now with the key in the ignition, we'll turn that on. We hear the electric fuel pump prime, that modern fuel injection system. Uh, 11 miles on the bike as we uh, road tested it after we assembled it. And now let me just go over the controls quickly. We of course have the clutch. Uh, we can see really not a heavy pull and it's, it's a very precise thing to use. 
Um, and with all the torque, it's kind of hard to stall one of these, um, which, is, which is good as well. Let me angle the camera a bit better for you. Uh, lights, low beam's always on. This is flash to pass, and that's high beam. We have our blinkers, which are not self-canceling, so just make sure to cancel those. Uh, our horn, we have our parking brake. So this locks the rear caliper um, on the bike. Very high quality piece, very satisfying to use. All aluminum, everything's aluminum on this. And we can see this, if I wiggle it up and down, there's pretty much no uh, play in this at all. Like that is just such a high quality thing. Um, very nice to use. We've got another quality touch there on the uh, head bolt there. And then on the uh, throttle side, we of course have the throttle uh, front brake, which the front brake, uh, very, kind of very immediate. Um, I, I really like kind of more of an immediate pull. So your braking's right there, um, you know, especially in an emergency situation, that split second of it grabbing a bit sooner um, can really make all the difference. And these brakes, they really stop this thing like, I don't want to say on a dime, but they kind of do. It's kind of very impressive if you get one of these out on the open road and really, um, really use those brakes. This little switch is for the driving lights on the sidecar. So I'll leave those on so we can see those. Um, and it is, you can see it's watertight, that nice cover over it. We of course have the kill and run switch and the starter button. And before I start it, I will mention um, the grips, they're like a soft touch rubber, very, very comfortable. And the little kind of knurled surface, they, they yield a nice grip as well. Um, personally, I don't think I would change these out unless I was putting heated grips on it. Um, so I will just mention that, um, that it does just have some quality grips on it from the factory. So we can see we're in neutral and the ignition, sorry, is on. We're on the run position. All we have to do is hit the starter. So we can see it starts right up. As I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, it is cold and there's really no additional steps other than turning the key and hitting the starter, um, which is very nice. You can see those factory LED driving lights and we can hear it idling nice and smooth. Um, just like your car does, it does have a high idle um, for a few seconds while it's cold. Um, just to get things warmed up a bit faster to operating temperature um, and to have that little bit of increased oil pressure um, when it's cold. And we do have, like I said, hundreds of accessories for these, uh, uh, you know, differing from, from uh, racks to windshields. We have heated grips for these. Uh, all sorts of lighting, additional lighting. Even we can convert the factory lighting, a specific LED kit for that. Even hand shifters. All the controls for uh, two-wheel drive and reverse, that can all be converted to a hand shifter. That's a lot of fun to use and looks cool. So really the possibilities are, are endless with these, uh, with these Urals. We even have people that, that daily drive these through the, the cold winter months, um, you know, just with some basic accessories on them, like a windscreen and, and heated grips. And now I will mention uh, as standard, there's also a steering dampener. So around 20 points of adjustment on these, uh, it's a hydraulic steering damp dampener. And whether you want the steering a little uh, light, you know, for road use, or you want it heavier for off-road use, especially if you're going over obstacles, you don't, um, want the bars to give you kind of any kickback. Um, that is a very, very heavy duty and high quality item right from the factory. And just taking kind of one last look here, we can see all the mounting locations and mounting hardware for the sidecar. Very, very stiff and heavy duty setup. Uh, we've even uh, hung the sidecars in the air um, by kind of balancing um, the Ural in an off-road situation and little to no flex um, with the sidecar. It's, it's really, really um, amazing. So that's all I have for you today on this slate gray uh, Ural gear up. Uh, thanks for listening to me uh, talking for 20 minutes about this Ural and just providing um, even some of my kind of input um, and opinions on this new gear up. Uh, if you have any additional questions or I may have missed anything, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it or give us a call at 978-263-9000. Please leave a like on this video. Uh, we notice and we appreciate your support and subscribe so then you don't miss 
the latest motoring content.